as teacher, when somebody says compare and contrast, the first thing that pops into my head is Venn diagrams. Here's a confession. I hate Venn diagrams. They seem easy, right? You got the one circle and then you've got the other circle. And so in this circle, I would write everything that I know about Mean Girls. And in this circle, I would write everything that I know about Julius Caesar. And then here, I would write what they have in common. Great, different, different common. Here's my problem. This area is so small. And even if you make the circles really, really big or you make the overlap really, really big, it's just awkward for me. So there are other ways around it. Um, one of the things I have my students do sometimes is super, super basic. I say, make three columns, kind of like a KWL chart. Except for instead of KWLing, they say, this is what I learned from Julius Caesar. This is what I learned about Mean Girls. And this is what they have in common. If you're all about the Venn diagram and you like the fact that they're in the middle, fine, move in common over here, move Mean Girls over here. Now, some people don't like it because it's not as visual. Okay, for them, I present the solution I had when I was a student. Um, I've never liked Venn diagrams. That is our start. This is what they have in common. See how much bigger it already is? And then we'll make a little, I believe this is a trapezoid, but I haven't taught shapes in years. We'll make one over here too. And I bet most of you can already figure out how this is going to work. But So again, in commons in the middle, Julius Caesar is over here. I mean, girls is over here. And with that, I introduce to you the then bow tie. Now, I'm one of the teachers who believes you should use whatever works best for you. So, I introduce this to my students. I say this is how things work well for me. However, when they're doing compare and contrast activities, if they really like Venn diagrams, they can use a Venn diagram. If they really like to just use three columns, they can just write three columns. Because let's face it, graphic organizers are supposed to help them get their thoughts organized. And not everybody's thoughts organize in the same way. So as long as they give me something where I can see they understand what we're talking about and they have found differences and similarities, I'm a happy camper. Um, there's a blog post where you can download a free copy of a Venn bow tie for your classroom. And if you have any way that you like to visually show comparing and contrasting, I would love to hear about it. And if you happen to use the Venn bow tie in your class, let me know how it goes. That's it. Have a great day.